Hello everyone, what we have for you today here is the Spigen screen protector for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now I know many of you who have watched our video actually knows that I have installed the Ringy Ringer screen protector on the Galaxy Z Fold 4 but in that video I said that the installation process was not really that good because they don't have this kind of installation tool to guide you to install it and the reason why I got this kind of perfect installation is because I had this Spigen case at that time, so I just used the case as the alignment tool for the screen protector, which is why it looks good. But there are some flaws, for example, this little... I don't know if you can see it on camera, I think you can if I catch some reflection. The adhesive around this edge here isn't really that good, so one spot here. Uh, one spot here actually, then two spots here, and uh, I just... Don't know why it kind of triggers my OCD so I let you see clearly now so you can see first patch actually here's the second patch then third patch fourth and fifth patch um, yeah I just decided to buy this to replace this screen protector and uh, actually Spigen also included a hinge film if you want to use that as well which I am actually going to use it because I want to change away from this case for a while just to keep things fresh. Oh, and we also did a very quick unboxing. So when we open up, we have all of the stuff nicely laid out and we also got an accessory pouch. So inside the accessories pouch, we do have all of the common things that we come to expect. So lens wipes and whatnot, we got two of them actually. Both of them are identical. Microfiber cloth and also two dust removal stickers. So I think that's good. So you got extras in case you need it and also a guide to tell you how to scrape all the bubbles away using their included squeegee which is actually quite high quality and they also included a quick installation guide which i think is fairly simple you can even watch their video if you want to but you can also read the instructions directly on this piece of paper which is very concise so now that is all it is time for us to take the existing screen protector off it's kind of wasteful but I think the screen protector has to go. Might as well use the screen protector as a dust cleaner, right? According to this, we'll just use the cleaning wipes to wipe the screen first. So I'm gonna use the cleaning wipe. Oh wait, where is my edge sticker? That's funny, I didn't get my, my hinge sticker. What the heck? Okay, so this part requires a little bit of explanation. So as you can see here, Spigen actually removed that hinge protector because they said a lot of people were complaining that the hinge protector is incompatible with their phone. So it causes some sort of uh, resistance when they try to open or close the phone, which I understand because that also happened with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 when I use some third-party stickers that, you know, they, they give you some fancy design. Uh, yeah, that caused some issues when you try to open or close the phone. So, I do understand where Spigen is coming from. I just feel like they should have telegraphed that a little bit better. Quick wipe down. So, once we got that clean, I'm gonna start removing all of the dust, which is just by using their dust removal sticker thing. Pretty simple overall. So once we got all of that out, we can see it is completely dustless. Oh, there's one speck here. That is clean to me. And now what we're going to do is to peel off the back. Peel it off. Align it. And then push it down. What it tells us to do next is to slide up and down. Okay, I can see the screen protector is starting to attach. Wait for 30 seconds. Should I do this for 30 seconds? Might as well, right? Okay, now that 30 seconds has passed, what we should do next is to peel off the whole sticker. Yeah, that's exactly what they call it here, the whole sticker. <laughs> Okay, so once we pull off the whole sticker, we can lift off the, in the guide tool and then peel off the protection tool and use the squeegee to scrape off the bubbles. That is what I'm gonna do now. I should peel off the entire thing, right? 
uh, I should be able to lift this off and put that installation guide aside. Now what I need to do is to peel off this. Ooh. And then use the squeegee and scrape. And there we go, the installation is I would, what I consider to be complete. But I still managed to get a speck of dust here, which is... Ah, what the heck man. But either way, the installation process is real easy, but you need to be careful about step number three, because during the time when you're about to put down the screen protector, dust might get in. So I think that's what happened to me. But yeah, either way, this is it, the Spigen screen protector if you have any questions do leave them down in the comment section below so yeah we'll see you guys in the next video